All right, in the first two segments, what we did was we introduced the definition of the differential equations and we went ahead and classified them by type and said that if there's only one single independent variable, we call this ordinary differential equation or ODE. If we have multiple uh, independent variable, variables, two or more, we call them the PDE. And then I introduced some notations how we should be able to represent the differential equations, both PDE and ODE. After that, I discussed the order of an equation, that differential equation, and I said that it will be the order of the highest derivative that we have in that particular equation. Then we introduced like three different forms, differential form, which is only applicable for first order ODE. I introduced the general form, I introduced the normal form as well. Okay. Now we are ready to do more exciting stuff, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to do uh, classification. And this will be actually very, very important, the one that I'm doing now. It's called the classification by linearity, okay? You may know this from your uh, physics course as well. Linear equations are much easier to solve than nonlinear. That's what I'm talking about here as well. But I will be making my comments regarding the differential equations obviously okay um, because when I look at the definition of this here is what it says okay NODE is linear if it is linear and it is derivatives so basically it's talking about okay just like the order, I said that highest order derivative will determine the order of the equation and this time around the, the linearity of the derivative will decide on the ODE's linearity or not. Okay? But this is still not good enough in my opinion. I think when I lay out mathematically what I mean by this, it will be much more clear, so just hang on with me. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to write this x, y, y prime, tick, tick, tick all the way to the y and order is equal to zero quick what is this is this general or normal form or differential form the answer is general form okay please make sure you know this um, okay and what I can do is I can write the linear equation so you can see how it looks a n of x times the nth derivative dx and plus a n minus 1 of x the n minus 1 y, the x n minus 1 plus all the way to a 1x dy dx. This last term kind of sometimes get tricky. I'll talk about that for students. As well as this term, a 0xy, g of x. Okay, so this is now a linear equation. What I'm representing over here is look at these terms, it's only a function of n x okay x is the independent variable right but note that again let me make that comment that i was going to make a minute ago it can be multiplied by y that's okay sometimes when students see the y they say no 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 this is not linear and they try to solve it as if it's a linear equation because in this particular course we will be solving both linear and, and non-linear equations okay and the right hand side also this this sometimes gets tricky g of x i don't see a y over here okay I only have a y times some kind of an x or a constant, etc. Okay, and what I want to do is it's kind of common to go ahead and to analyze first and second order, and as this it will be determining some of the solution methods that I'm going to introduce. So I want to make sure that we are on all on the same page. So I want to write a first order differential equation. You, my recommendation is know this. This comes in handy. This is for the first order, and if I have a second order differential equation then I simply add one more term to it so this is once you get used to writing it this way you will see that it's not a huge deal dy dx the only problem is I run out of space so let's go to the next line a of x y is equal to gx so like I mentioned this and this also I will solve in this class third order equations you will see or fourth as well but um, this is much more common. So let's take a look at the previous example that I started with. So now what I want to do is I introduce you the concept. Let me give you some examples and let's discuss whether they are linear or they are nonlinear. If they are nonlinear, why are they nonlinear? So we are all on the same page. 
The first is, um, I gave an example in the previous segment about it. Let's just start with something that we know. If you remember, I was asking either normal or general form. I don't remember off the top of my head at this point, and differential form of this. So let's discuss whether this is a linear equation or a nonlinear equation. Okay, so um, if you want to, as you, know, as you do note that I don't like to write with a prime notation too often, but that's your decision. I will not penalize you for that. You can see over here that you can see this is the first order, right? And a of a1 of x turns out to be 5x, and a0 of x turns out to be what? 1, right? And then g of x turns out to be x, right? So I'm just simply going ahead and, you know, inserting things here and here, checking, double checking things. And I'm looking, okay, it needs to be only a function of x, I'm good to go. How about a0? It needs to be only a function of x, it's a constant, it will be just fine, right? How about g of x? Right? It's a function of x. So this is linear, definitely linear, and this is actually not too bad. Okay, so now I'm going to write a fairly longer equation, and I'm going to change a term here and there, and discuss, etc. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. dx cubed plus 5x dy dx minus gy is equal to e to the power of x. Ooh, e to the power of x. Looks like nonlinear, right? e to the power of x. Not that fast, not that fast. Okay, let's analyze this. So I'm not going to write like this because it's going to be a long uh, video otherwise. Uh, but you see this a3, right, of x is x to the power of 4. So I'm good from that angle. How about this a1? a1 is 5x, so I'm good. How about a0? It's minus 3, so I'm good as well. So far, so good. The right hand side is e to the power of x. Is that a problem? No, not really. I said, that, hey, it needs to be just a function of an x, and it is. So this doesn't make it nonlinear. Just want to highlight that. Okay? So this turns out to be linear as well. Let's switch gears. x to the power of 4, d third y x cubed plus 5y dy dx minus 3y is equal to e to the x. Oh yeah, I can see, I can almost hear you, you know, shouting at the screen. Yeah, 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 you this, right? This is a deal breaker. No good. This is going to be a nonlinear. So this will be a very difficult equation to solve for us. Okay. Um, okay. So let me go back over here because I don't want to rewrite the same thing on over, over, over here. So let's do this. Let's take advantage of writing on a, so let's change the color. Let's use green. And let's put this square over here, okay? The same thing, exactly the same, except I put a square right over here. So now, is this linear? That's the question, okay? And the answer that I'm going to write will be in the font of, uh, you know, uh, this, which is uh, green, right? So this is going to be nonlinear, because when I look at up here, look how it is defined, right? It says y, it doesn't mention y square. So this is a deal breaker. So this is going to be nonlinear then. Okay, so I have to be careful about that. And let me do one more now. Again, let me change the color, let's say orange, right? So now instead of having a y square over here, I'm gonna write sine y. I, oh, again, I can hear almost you saying no good, no good from the same reason as y square. That is correct, nonlinear. Okay, um, let's do one more just for the sake of it. Um, it's now simple, but when things get complicated, you get to start to making mistakes from this end, okay? Now we are fully focused to this angle only. There will be other things that we're looking at. Just want to warn you, okay? So now what I'm saying is um, this is minus 3y, okay? I'm not putting square over here or I'm not putting sine of y, okay? The only thing that I'm changing over here with the pink color is instead of x, I'm going to write y. And you can see this is going to be no good as well because when I look at here, g of x, but this is e to the power of y. Students sometimes don't catch this one, okay? So it's something to note. Um, so this will be nonlinear.